bruh, it's okay to take a break off social media, dog. Like, literally, I'm not saying you gotta delete it forever, bruh, but it's alright to take a break from social media. I promise you, you're not missing nothing. It's simple as that, bruh. You're not missing a goddamn thing. You think you're missing this, missing that, missing this, missing that, to the point where you like, nah, I gotta get back on this. It's like you addicted to that shit, bro. And it's honestly, it ain't doing nothing but fucking you up, dog. That's why you feel like you ain't where you need to be in life. That's why you feel like you ugly. That's why you feel like your life ain't good enough. It's because it's social media. If it went the phone and it went Instagram, Snapchat, and all this, bro, you would think your life is perfectly fine. But you don't think your life is perfectly fine because you comparing your life to other people that you don't even know on your phone. Bro, you probably like, nah, I don't want to take a break from social media because I don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss that. You're not going to miss anything. If you literally take time off social media and come back to social media, it's going to be the exact same thing. It's a cycle that don't end. It's the same drama. It's the same bullshit. It's the same pictures. And it's the same shit. Ain't shit different, bro. You just feel like you're missing out on something because you don't want to be left out or you don't want to feel like, oh, this, that, and the third. Bro, you need to focus on you. Let me ask you this. If you put your phone down for 30 minutes and it's just you by yourself, what do you know about you? What do you really know about yourself? What do you really like about yourself? And, bro, if we're being 100% real, bro, 90% of humans, bro, our problems don't really come from problems. It comes from bullshit that we make problems. We make all of our problems. Literally, bro, we don't really be having a lot of problems because it could always be worse. But instead of us thinking like that because we be on our phones all day, we be on the internet all day, and we don't spend time with ourselves, we don't understand these things. So we be thinking we have all these problems. I'm ugly. I ain't got enough money. I don't look good enough. This, that, and the third. I'm not where I need to be in life. But if you put down your phone for a minute and got in tune with reality, then you will realize that, bro, you was perfectly fine where you at. Like, literally, bro, you be glued to your phone, looking at your phone to the point that's your life. You live more on your phone than you do in real life, bro. You see what I'm saying? And honestly, bro, life's too short to be on the phone all day. Get in tune with real life. Get to figure out who you is for real. Get to figure out what you enjoy doing for real. Because this is your life, bro. And I'm not finna sit here and say social media is just all bad and stuff like that. But, bro, it come with a lot of, it come with a lot of benefits. That's like it come with a lot of fucked up shit. You see what I'm saying, bro? But a lot of people, us as humans, bro, we, we naturally cling on to the negative. We naturally do what we don't supposed to do. If I tell you don't think of a truck, don't think of a vehicle, don't think of a car, you're going to think of these things. If I tell you don't think of a baby, don't think of a baby, don't think of a baby, you're thinking of a baby right now. So if you get on social media, you're not, your mind is naturally going to cling on and focus on the negative bullshit that it shouldn't be focused on. You don't get on social media and look at it and be like, damn, okay, boom, I'm going to make this a positive in my life. You're going to make that shit a negative in your life. It's simple as that. Like, social media can be used two ways. I'm not finna sit here and say, oh, social media gets these badass fucked up shit. But it's the way that we use it. A lot of us use it to compare ourselves, bruh. A lot of us don't understand that comparison is the killer of all joy. How the fuck can you be happy if you're looking at another motherfucker life? How the fuck can you be happy if you're not grateful for what you got and appreciating what you got because you too focused on what another nigga or what another female got going on? You see what I'm saying? That's some lame shit. Honestly, you shouldn't give a fuck about another nigga that much or you shouldn't give a fuck about another person's situation that much to the point where you're not focused on you. You feel me? But us as humans don't understand that because we naturally cling on to the negative shit. We naturally do the shit that we're not quote unquote supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? So if you sit around all day and be on social media, you're not going to naturally look at the good in situations. You're going to look at the bullshit in situations, bro. And like I said, bro, I'm not sitting here telling you what to do with your life, this, that, and the third. But I'm saying, bro, it, it, it wouldn't be a problem if you take a little break. Like I said, you ain't missing nothing. You're not missing out on nothing, bro. Like, literally, bro, you need to put you first sometimes. You need a little break from Instagram, from, from comparing yourself to that bullshit-ass junk, feeding that negative shit in your mind, and take a break. What are you missing? You're not missing a goddamn thing, bro. When you come back, it's going to be the same bullshit. It's going to be the same bullshit. But when, you, when that shit start affecting your mental health, when that shit start affecting your day-to-day -day life, bro, that's where you need to let that shit go. If that shit take away your happiness, if that shit take away your joy, what is it in your life for? It really don't hold no good shit for you, bro. You feel me? Like, we naturally hang on to bullshit that don't, don't do us no good. Like, bro, like, literally, what do you get from comparing yourself? What do you get from complaining? You get a goddamn thing from it. You get nothing from it. But 90% of the complaints come from looking at another motherfucker's life, being like, damn, I want this. Damn, I want that. Damn, he got this. Damn, she got that. Damn, they got this. You see what I'm saying? Instead of looking at it like this, damn, I got this. When some sad shit pop up on your Instagram feed, whatever it is, my nigga, whatever you want to pop up, whenever it pop up on your social media, you don't be like, damn, I'm blessed. 
damn, I'm, I, I'm good right now. You don't look at it like that. But when you see somebody doing better than you, you look at it and be like, damn, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Damn, how they got this and I don't got it. But when a motherfucker that's doing worse than you pop up, you don't be like, damn, I'm so grateful for where I am. You see what I'm saying? You see how that shit work, bro? Like, literally, bro, just take a break from that shit sometimes because that shit can literally fuck your mind up sometimes, I'm telling you. And another thing, bro, I honestly think social media went made for us to take so goddamn serious. We literally take everything on social media so goddamn serious. We take it to heart and we take it literal. Everything on social media ain't real, bro. Just because a motherfucker post it, just because a motherfucker say they doing it, don't mean they really doing it. If you meet 90% of these people you can pay on your life to on social media in real life, bro, they are not the same people in real life. They make you feel like you ain't good enough for it. It's really not even what they doing. It's how your mindset is. It's just that you looking at it like, damn, they doing this and I'm not. So when you meet them in real life, you be like, damn, they not even really living the way I thought they was living. You feel me? So at this point, bro, that shit literally is just bullshit. You could literally post some shit from 10 months ago that you're not even there no more. You could literally goddamn do some shit 10 months later, you post a picture. Goddamn, you could take a video, my nigga, two, three months later, you post it, and people think that's what you're doing right now. You see what I'm saying? So literally, bro, that shit is just literally bullshit, bro. Everybody on social media is trying to be like somebody else. The same person you comparing yourself to and being like, damn, I'm not good enough, they probably comparing themselves to somebody else looking at themselves like, damn, they ain't good enough. So when people gonna stop motherfucking looking at the next person being like, damn, I wanna be here and just goddamn be like, you know what, bro? I'm grateful for where I'm at now. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with wanting more in life because that's what life is about. It's all about growth and all about getting better, bro. But at the same time, bro, when that shit start affecting your mental health and fucking with your mind, that's where you need to step the fuck back and get yourself together bro hey but look that's all i really got for y'all in today's video man make sure you give me a like comment subscribe share turn on post notice man follow me on instagram i love y'all on the road to 5k we hitting it real soon i'm out hey